Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Get ready for a heart-racing journey into the wild in ways you never even thought possible. Ready for the thrill? Let's get right into it. We start off today's episode right off the bat with a wild one. Yes, you're seeing it right. A humanoid creature with a head that's a mix of a kangaroo or maybe a dog. It also appears to be going after whoever is holding the camera we see in the shot. While we've showcased weird and disturbing footage on this channel before, nothing compares to what we have in store today. Despite the uploader's silence, it's evidence from the capture that this creature gave the cameraman and crew the scare of a lifetime. Now, let's talk about the creature in question. Does it remind you of any cryptids? If you thought of the dog man, you're on the right track. However, unlike Bigfoot and other cryptids, information about the dog man is scarce. This makes it difficult to tell if it's truly the Dogman or some unknown kind of cryptid. There's, however, a third possibility, that the whole thing is a fake and the uploader is peddling us nothing but lies. But what do you think, though? Tell us in the comments section, as we'd really love to hear them. Next, we have another bizarre capture from Lancaster County. Unlike the previous one, however, this is a video and it showcases something that looks more like a mutation than it does a cryptid. Yes, what you are seeing is very real. And yes, that's an actual deer with two noses. A park ranger discovered this unusual footage on a trail cam set up to capture local wildlife. The trail cam had been successful capturing intriguing videos, and he was anticipating more. What he didn't expect, though, was the confusion upon first sight of this footage. It was mostly because he didn't know what he was looking at. The deer's face appears oddly shaped, with two additional openings. It took him a while, but he soon realized that these weren't openings, they looked like additional noses. The sight was truly bizarre and marked the first time such an occurrence had been captured on video. The ranger was highly convinced he was dealing with a mutated deer, but some experts who reviewed the case believe it could have resulted from injury. What do you think? Watch this footage. Did you catch the deer running past the trail camp? Did you notice anything else? Take another look at the footage. You saw it, didn't you? there was a floating orb just above the deer. It moved with the same speed as the doe and in the same direction, almost as though it was chasing it. While some might dismiss the orb as a camera artifact, our longtime subscribers know that orbs often indicate supernatural activity. The sender of this clip believes it's a ghost. I do see the moving object, but I'm not inclined to make the ghostly association with this particular clip. What about you? We've had cryptids that look like apes, and then some that look like goats, and even dogs. But have you heard of any that look like rabbits? Whatever your answer was, you might want to see this. Yep, that's an actual humanoid with a rabbit head. Yes, an actual humanoid-looking rabbit. We haven't encountered anything like this in all the years of exploring the paranormal. Some members of the team say it looks more like a wolf or a fox, and as much as I can see where they're coming from, I stubbornly stick to the rabbit looks. Despite our different stances on what this might be, we all wanted this to be legit. But the more we looked at the picture, the more disappointed we became. In the end, we had to come to terms with the reality. It's a photo of a man in a costume and nothing more. We've no idea if the individual was trying to trick the owner of the trail cam into believing it was paranormal or if it was accidentally captured by the trail cam. But assuming this was your trail camera and assuming this was real, how would you have reacted? Tell us in the comments section. Next, we have trail cam capture from an individual who seems to really have captured something bizarre. He claims it's a dog man, but let's judge that claim for ourselves.
Did you see the creature he was referring to, or did the footage simply leave you confused? In the footage, we see what appears to be the outdoors with a lot of grass and some items there. Might be the backyard of someone's home, but it's hard to say. The individual recording the footage, however, is seemingly perplexed and, I dare say, even scared. He points the camera in the direction of whatever is giving him the scares, but his shaky hands make it hard to see. We slowed down the footage in an attempt to catch what the whole thing was about and guess what we saw. There is a creature with dark fur in the slowed down footage. It stares at the man and then stares away, remaining perfectly still. It's almost as though it was trying its best to avoid being seen. Is it a dog man though? Personally, I don't think so. It might be a man in a suit or a different kind of cryptid. What do you think? Still on canine creatures, we move to southern Texas for our next clip. Have a look. The creature you see on your screen was captured by a couple while they were out exploring the woods. While we're unsure of how they managed to catch it, one thing is certain. When they captured the creature, they found it far from normal looking. They compared it to all the local species of small animals in the neighborhood, but the creature was just too different from all of them. Even the local dogs in the area. Being believers in the paranormal, they started to believe that they may have actually caught the legendary Chupacabra. As we watch the footage, it's easy to see why they might have thought that. The creature looks like a mangy dog, and many descriptions of the chupacabra mention a hairless canine creature that drinks blood and fluids from its animal victims. While the animal fits the bill, it does seem a bit small for that description. Beyond that, it doesn't look like that thing consumes blood as it was being fed powdery feed, which I'm pretty sure it consumed. But if it's not a chupacabra, what then is it? Or am I the one being too bad a skeptic? Share your thoughts in the comment section. While the previous footage may not have exactly scared you out of your chair, this next one might do the trick. Watch. The footage starts off with a man driving what looks like a quad bike through the woods. It turns out the trail he's on is designated for ATVs, considered safe for off-road vehicles, quad bikes, dirt bikes, and similar vehicles. But what is it, though? While the rider found out the hard way, it was not. Suddenly, his ride was interrupted by a wire fixed at neck height. Luckily for him, he had his helmet on, and that's what made contact with the wire. Given the speed at which he was riding, it pushed his head back with great force. But what if he was not wearing a helmet? What if it had made contact with his neck? What if he was on an actual bike? Would he have survived? I don't think so. But who would set up a wire on such track? Why and who was the target? Was it an attempt at murder or something meant to create a freak accident? I don't know about you, but if I were him, I would definitely not trust that track again or any track in that area whatsoever. Now for our next capture, you might want to brace yourself because it doesn't look pretty. Before you ask the question, allow me to answer. Yes, that's a deer, and yes, those are growths or warts around its neck. As disturbing as the image is, that's not uncommon for deer in the wild. These growths are known as fibroma or skin tags, and they result from various factors including genetics, insect bites, parasites, and poor nutrition, among others. Despite their appearance, these growths don't pose a significant threat to the deer, although larger ones might cause discomfort for the animal. That doesn't mean to run and apply ointments if you see a deer with one. What you should do is alert local authorities. Local authorities are best equipped to provide assistance. Until then, all we can do is hope and pray that the deer receives the necessary help. Next is another image we're trying so hard to wrap our heads around. You know what? Just take a look for yourselves. Yeah, that was apparently captured on a trail cam set up in the woods. The owner of the trail cam initially thought his friends were pranking him, but after checking with everyone, he realized they knew nothing about it. So then, what is this thing? 
We can say for certain it seems to have a human body with a head resembling some pig-like creature. Imagining such a creature brings to mind Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but this is happening in real life. Critically, looking at the image once more, a part of me wants to believe that this is nothing more than a man in a mask. I know I sound like the paranormal critic today, but, well, look at it. What other explanation could there be for this? Would a bear attack a trail camera? Before you answer, watch this. While I know it looks like the bear was attacking the trail camera, what if I told you that it wasn't? If you pay attention to the video, you'd realize that the bear was going through some container until it abruptly stopped and then bolted out of the place. Putting on our Sherlock Holmes hats, we can deduce that the bear was probably going through those containers in search for food. Perhaps the containers were storing food items and the bear was simply drawn there by its scent. It might have heard people in the process and then tried to leave. Yes, yes, keep applauding. I know I have decoded the scene, but what do you do when you live in a bear country and need to store food items outside? Well, you use a bear box. If you're wondering what that is, it's a metal container designed to store food and scented items in bear countries with the means of preventing the bears from accessing its contents and reducing the risk of human-bear conflicts. You can imagine what could have happened if the bear decided to go after the humans that disturbed it. It could have been tragic, tragic, tragic. If you're watching this video and live in a bear country and do not own one, you better pause the video, order yourself one, and then come back to it. I'm watching you. If you own one, just write OWN ONE in the comments section. If you ordered, just write ORDERED ONE in the comments section. I will be watching. For this next one, well, I don't even have words for it. Perhaps I should just show you. This thing looks like a man-sized bug with the features of so many other creatures. I mean, I can see some bird-like features, some pointy ears, limbs that look like tentacles, among other features that look borrowed from other animals. According to the one whose trail camera apparently took the picture, it's a mystical creature that's haunted that side of the woods where his trail camera was planted. As much as I love the paranormal as the next guy, this has false written all over it. I mean, how? The image is likely AI generated and edited to catch us off guard, but I'm not buying it. It looks like the least real thing we've had on this channel. But what do you think, though? Do you believe that this is very real, or am I just too blinded by logic to see it? Tell me in the comments section, as I'd really love to know. Speaking of mysterious captures, take a look at this next one. At first glance, this looks like an ordinary image captured of the woods at night. A second look, however, and you'd notice something weird going on on the left side of the screen. Do you see it? It appears to be some form of translucent creature moving within the trees. The poor quality of the image makes it hard to zoom in and discern what it is, because the more you zoom in, the blurrier the image gets. We're not particularly fond of blurry images, because they often invite skepticism unless the circumstances surrounding them make a strong case for their blurriness. So we throw this one at you. What do you think you were seeing? Is this whole image even real or simply a hoax meant to throw us off? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Still on strange and unidentifiable creatures, this next trail cam capture will surely shock you. We travel back in time to the year 2008 in Montauk, Long Island, New York. Have a look. There's no way that creature is normal. It appears to have a beak like a bird does and a furless body with the features of that of a dog and its size also matching that of a dog's. The uploaders stated they found this at the beach and everyone who saw this in 2008 believed it was real. Looking at it in 2023, well, not so much. Even the flawed yet impressive AI tools of this year can generate more photorealistic images than this. I'm starting to believe the uploaders did this for clout, and boy, did they get some. Their post went everywhere, including newspapers. Did you hear about it then? What did you think about it when you heard it? Tell us in the comments section. Everything they say rises and falls with leadership, and looking at our next footage, I must say I believe it. 
In the footage, we see a pack of wolves seemingly going about their normal, everyday business when the one leading the pack suddenly stops and alerts them to danger, asking them to move. Given the fact that she stared in the direction of the camera, the uploader believes she noticed the unfamiliar artifact in their environment and doubted it was safe. See how she gets the rest of the pack to scatter and leave, with the exception of that last one who comes back to see if there was really any danger at all. I guess there's always going to be that odd weird one, even in the animal kingdom. But we've been wondering, how did she detect the camera? Could it be because of the scent or does the trail cam act in a way that allows wolves to detect them? Could the experienced ones help us with an explanation? We'd be reading the comments to see, as we really want to know. Still on animals detecting things you wouldn't expect them to, we have this interesting trail cam footage. Watch. In the footage, we see two deer grazing. One of the two, however, is jittery and keeps looking around as though it were expecting a predator or felt something that was not right. I was tempted to think it might be normal behavior. That was, at least until I noticed the translucent thing that moved across the screen right when it turned. What was that strange thing? Is it a paranormal entity? Did that deer just notice a paranormal being? Does that mean animals are capable of detecting beings beyond our plane? Or is this video cleverly edited to make it look that way? So many questions, yet no answers. Tell us, what do you think? We'd really love to know. For our next one, if you have a fear of spiders or arachnophobia, you might want to skip it. Yes, you're seeing right. Those are the legs of a spider and its underbelly or thorax, if I'm not mistaken. Is the spider giant, though? As much as I'd love to say yes, it's not. It's a normal-sized spider moving on top of the trail cam. We've encountered numerous instances of this, which led me to wonder if trail cams have something that attracts spiders, but it turns out they don't. Trail cam setups can, however, become hot zones for insects, and as we know, spiders love their insects, which is likely why we often see them hanging around trail camps. But what do you think? We all know that Russians are built differently, but what about their animals? Turns out they're built differently too. Watch this next one. And yes, that's a bear trying to climb a ladder. You don't need to be a genius to know that a bear is trying to climb that ladder to get to the man filming. From the footage, we can see the bear climbing up toward the man who keeps talking or vocalizing and eventually the bear climbs back down. He's in the clear then, right? Well, no. The bear decides that if it can't climb up to the man, it would bring the man down to it. It starts pulling on the base of the ladder, most likely with hopes of pulling the man down to him. We see it attempt to pull the ladder several times, but unfortunately the video ends before we can witness the outcome. Given the fact that the video was uploaded online, I'd like to believe that the man made it out. What about you? Next, we have this beautiful capture that brought tears to my eyes. And yes, that's an exaggeration, but the beauty of the picture isn't. Have a look. That's a beautiful doe moving through the water. Whoever placed this trail cam where it's positioned definitely knew what they were doing. It's not every day you see a beautiful capture. For those who didn't know, deers are impressive swimmers. They got great legs. Uh, wait, did I say great? I meant strong legs with a natural buoyancy that allows them to float. Yeah, despite their skill, their body allows them to stay afloat. If they had webbed feet, we'd definitely call them water animals. Either way, that's a great capture. I have a question though. Do you think the water is splashing in the right direction, or am I simply trying to see things that aren't there? Share your thoughts in the comments section. A man who had set up his trail cam overnight to capture wildlife went to review the footage his cam had captured and was greeted with a capture that had humans instead of animals. Take a look. The footage starts off with two men walking into the woods, after which they are joined by a third. 
These men look like they mean business given how they're moving with purpose and seriousness. The flash lamps they carry in their hands give off the vibe that they may be searching for something, but what exactly? This is where it gets interesting. We don't have to wait too long for our answer because within a few minutes they return from the woods dragging along a younger male. The first question that came to mind was, are they kidnapping him? I mean, you can never be too sure of late, right? The truth, however, turns out to be less sinister than that. The young man we see in the footage got drunk and went into the woods where he got lost. These men simply went out to look for him and fortunately they found him. They basically saved his life and it was captured on tape. Interesting, right? This next trail camera sends us back into the realm of the paranormal. I don't know what to make of whatever is captured in the trail cam footage. It looks like some form of humanoid cryptid, but which? It's hard to say. Its body looks like a blend of feline and human characteristics. As far as we are concerned, there's no paranormal being that suits the description. Let's take a closer look at the footage. Doing so, you quickly realize that the being looks like a 3D creation compared to the rest of the natural world. This is an obvious flaw associated with CGI creations, especially those from a few years ago. That makes it difficult to take this footage seriously. It's definitely fake, but why do something like this? For five minutes of fame to mislead the paranormal community? Come on, that's not very nice. Have you ever had that feeling that someone was watching you from the darkness? Well, I'm pretty sure that's exactly how the fox in the trail cam footage you were seeing now felt. The fox was leisurely exploring its environment when, all of a sudden, it came to a halt. Its gaze was fixated on the trees as if sensing a presence lurking within the bushes. At first glance, you see nothing, but once you carefully look in the direction of its gaze, you see it. There's something out there. We see two eyes dazzling with light looking at the fox. The fox is supposed to be a predator, but it looks like it's about to become prey. This mysterious entity looms larger than the fox, seemingly having stalked it unnoticed for quite some time. It's hard for us to say exactly what it is, but what do you think it is? Is it merely another wild animal with a predatory interest in the fox, or are we gazing upon an otherworldly creature? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Taking a step away from weirdly dressed men with dangerous weapons, we move to the wild side of trail camps. By the wild side, I mean trail cam footage that captures the wonders of wildlife. In this trail cam video, we see a deer resting. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? That's at least the case until you see the two eyes moving in the background. The uploader of this footage speculates that the mysterious figure could be a demonic being haunting the forest and preying on unsuspecting animals. His assertion brings to mind a scene from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone where Voldemort must drink the blood of unicorns to sustain himself. What if there are creatures out there in the woods that actually have to do this? See how the eyes quickly disappear and reappear on the right side of the screen. Although a paranormal explanation excites me, another part of me leans toward a more rational explanation. The eyes in the background could belong to either a fox or coyote. If you observe the movement of the eyes, you'll notice a pattern that resembles the way coyotes and foxes move, almost as if you can visualize their feet in motion. But do tell me, what do you think? For our next footage, we travel back in time to the Tatra Mountains of Poland in 2009. A group of friends were exploring the mountains and filming the experience when they saw what looked like a large man or a creature in the snow quite a distance from them. Shocked, they zoomed in trying to make out who or what and how they made it to such a remote part of the mountains. When the video was uploaded online, there was a frenzy in the paranormal community. Unbeknownst to the hikers, their recording had captured an elusive Bigfoot. It was inconceivable for a large man to be traversing such a remote and frigid expanse without proper winter attire. The creature or person they saw had nothing of that sort on. The community concluded that the black overall was simply fur and that the carefree nature of the creature simply meant it lived there. 
Although Poland isn't commonly associated with Bigfoot sightings, could this be the first Bigfoot sighting in Poland? Tell us what you think. Next, we take a trip to Mexico. This trip is not one, however, filled with sunshine and rainbows, but instead darkness and what some might describe as feelings of evil. A group of friends had decided to camp out in the woods, but just couldn't shake off the feeling that they were being stalked. To add to this, there were sounds they heard coming from the woods. Sounds that they never heard before in their entire life. As inexperienced as they were, they knew something was not quite right. They confirmed this when they started to see weird footprints around their settlement with various items belonging to them getting lost. Had someone followed them into the woods? Did another person live there that was trying to scare them off? They just couldn't tell. One of them, however, had a drone and decided to fly it around in hopes of finding who or whatever it was that was responsible for all that was happening to them. Although it was dark, the drone was equipped with a thermal sensor. For the first time since they arrived, it felt like they were a step ahead. Perhaps they were, but nothing could have prepared them for what they saw. The drone captured what looked like a tall man moving through the woods not far from them. The height of the man was unnatural, and so was how fast he moved. They followed him with the drone till he came to a stop. Since he was not moving anymore, they decided to switch to a normal view to see what the man looked like, but they didn't see a man. Instead, it was a deer. This was not possible. The thermal sensor would have reported something in the form of a deer if it was one earlier. Confused, the friends uploaded this online, and the paranormal community was quick to point out that they might have encountered a skinwalker that may have been shapeshifting. Perhaps it sensed the drone when it stopped moving, which is why it switched. Some say they were lucky to have come out of the woods at all. But what say you, real or too good to be true? What do you see? A creature from the depths of hell or a being that had been cursed to roam the earth forever. When I saw this capture, I almost jumped out to state this was something from the nether realm. Thankfully, I had my research assistant with me who quickly pointed out that it was captured by a trail cam that had been set up by one of the local police departments. Were they looking for ghosts? Not likely. But what you see before you is not otherworldly creatures, but instead men in ghillie suits. This is something worn by both military personnel and photographers in the wild for the sole purpose of camouflage. Imagine I ended up calling them damned souls. You guys would have roasted me for sure. Next we have this creepy clip that's not exactly from the wild, but offers a similar thrill, if not more. In the clip, we see a woman call out to her pet dog who is laying down staring at something out of frame. The one recording the footage is obviously curious and tries to see what has her dog's attention. She walks in and is met with these weird looking eyes staring from the darkness. She almost immediately gasps and then retreats. One question remains, what is that creature? The one who recorded and uploaded the video believes it could be some type of cryptid, and given the bizarre circumstances, that's not impossible, but we have watched the footage over and over and can't help but feel it might be a cat or a raccoon or some other small creature. A closer look, and it looks like the creature is sitting on something. What do you see, though? For our next footage, I think it'd be best if you saw it before you heard anything I had to say. Did you see that? What do you make of it? The individuals behind the camera believe they captured a sighting of a skinwalker. Now, let's delve into the analysis. The video begins with a group of young men capturing a breathtaking landscape on camera. It appears they were on a hike, trek, or a camping expedition, eager to document the beauty surrounding them. Their peaceful recording is abruptly disrupted when an individual dashes into the frame only to vanish just as quickly. At first glance, it may not seem out of the ordinary, but upon closer inspection, you'll notice something unsettling about the man's appearance. His arms are of unnatural proportions, and he runs a little hunched across the screen. 
It's no surprise that the young man suspects it could be a skinwalker. But is it, though? Opinions within the paranormal community are divided, with some believing it's a skinwalker, while others remain skeptical. They find it hard to believe. After all, how could they conveniently be filming at the exact spot where the skinwalker appeared seemingly out of nowhere and managed to capture it on camera? But what do you think? Is this a genuine case of a skinwalker, or do you smell an elaborate hoax? Share your thoughts with us. Still on Predators, we have this trail cam capture that we're gonna need your help with. Have you seen anything like this? At first glance, the creature's fur made me think it could be Bigfoot, but upon closer inspection, its face resembles that of a bear or some other canine species. The creature either has no arms or its arms are tucked behind that long fur. Upon further examination, the image appears unusually clear and refined for a typical trail cam capture. This leaves me wondering, could the trail cam capture have been edited to make it more visible given how dark and unrefined they usually are, or are we simply looking at an elaborate hoax by someone trying to make a mockery of the paranormal community and throw us off? In the era of AI, with advanced tools for image generation, such an assertion can definitely not be far off. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you think it is, real or hoax? This next footage was sent by a trail cam enthusiast who was more intrigued than he was scared. It's normal to see sheep together during the day as they basically do everything as a unit. But what about the night? You'd expect them to be sleeping, right? After all, sheep are diurnal, which means they typically active during the day and asleep at night. That's common knowledge, right? Then how do you explain this sheep gathering? It's almost as though they were in a meeting to deliberate about something whilst their owners were asleep. Someone who is paranoid, well, not me, but someone who is, might even think that they were planning to take over the world or something. It sounds far-fetched and funny, but imagine if it actually happened. It'd be funny and sad at the same time, but that's enough ranting. What do you think caused these sheep to gather in one spot? Had they been scared by a predator, or was there something much more sinister going on? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Next, we have this footage from 2012. The video was recorded by a man who kept seeing a young ghost girl in the woods close to his home. Perplexed by the reoccurring encounters with the ghostly girl, he decided to record her, unsure if capturing a ghost on camera was even possible or if the ghost would reveal herself. During the initial moments of the footage, there's nothing apparent. However, keep a close eye on the left side of the screen and you might catch a glimpse. Did you see it? It's faint, but a little girl runs out of frame at the left side of the screen. She appears from behind the tree and quickly runs off. In contrast to numerous online ghost videos featuring exaggerated apparitions, this one maintains a subtlety that lends its authenticity. And you know what? It makes me think this could be the real deal. But what do you think? Next, we have a strange and eerie looking video. In this clip, we see a young lady and a young man going through the woods and laughing. Given how the young lady laughs and looks at the young man filming their time in the woods, I would not be surprised if they were together. Taking a closer look at the footage, it either looks like the lady is topless or she's got a very small top on. It's hard to tell because of the quality of the clip. Not to jump to conclusions, but perhaps they had something naughty planned. Whatever the case, they won't see it come to fruition. A very short creature appears from nowhere and starts to move in their direction. The creature, however, seems particularly interested in the girl. She, on the other hand, is amused seeing this ape-like short and, for a lack of better words, ugly creature taking an interest in her. She approaches it, and then it launches at her. At that moment, she starts running from it, and so does the cameraman. But what is that? 
Initially, we had no idea, but after reviewing local folklore for where the footage was taken, we realize it's called a Pombero. It's a very small cryptid that's said to go after naughty girls. It kisses them and sometimes gets intimate with them. Given what the lady is wearing and where they are, perhaps they had a naughty agenda planned, which may have lured Don Pombero out. But what do you think? And to conclude today's episode, we thought we'd give you a funny and interesting one. Have you ever wondered if wild animals ever destroyed trail camps? Well, wonder no more, because we've got live footage for you. Enjoy. The footage starts off with what looks like an innocent woodpecker curiously examining the trail camp. After a few minutes, it becomes apparent that the woodpecker isn't just examining the trail cam, it seems to either be vandalizing it or making a home out of it. It starts pecking at the camera until the camera simply goes off. The owner of the camera actually found it in bad shape and wondered what could have caused the damage. He got his answer when he reviewed the footage, though. However, this discovery left him with more questions than answers. Why would the woodpecker destroy his equipment? Could the camera have been fixed in a tree where it got its favorite nutrition from? Had it marked the tree to build its new nest? Or did it simply find the camera's presence an annoyance? Could our avian experts help us out on this one? We'll be reading the comments section for answers. And with that, we end today's episode. If you have any trail cam footage you'd like us to feature in our next episode, please send it to us at classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll make sure to include it in our upcoming video and give you credit as a sender. It's a fantastic way to share your captures with the rest of the world, don't you think? See you in the next episode.